this image of my grandmother. I grew up with her very close to her. I lived with her a lot. She was one of 11 kids who grew up in a three-room house in Paris, Texas. And she stayed very close to her sisters. And they would all, all, always come over and play cards and gossip. And if you wanted one of the sisters who didn't come over and play cards that night, you were the one getting talked about. So you had to show up. Sometimes we would drive down to see their dad, my great-grandfather. And I had this image of him sitting in this chair, as he did, and he used to listen to his transistor radio and gaze out the window with these blue, cloudy cataracts. And these grown women would sit around his chair and tell him the stories of everything that was going on and any of the scandals or funny things that had happened with the grandkids. And if anybody did anything kind of off color, he would always say, tell me she didn't drive that car over into the ditch and just leave it there for us to go, that kind of thing. So when I heard his, oh, on a side note, my aunt, my great aunt Beth, one day was over there and he was listening to that transistor radio real loud because he was hard of hearing at that time in life and she couldn't take it anymore. She grabbed that thing and put it up against his head and taped it to his head, and turned it down. Anyway. I just want to say one thing about this song. I, I thought I sent Edie just a happy little banjo tune. <laughs> and she sent back a song about suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.